Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Watchtower quest. Now, for this quest, you're going to need the following requirements. So you must have a level 14 Herblor, level 15 Magic, level 15 Thieving, level 25 Agility, level 40 Mining, and you must be able to defeat a level 53 Ogre and survive against several aggressive level 53 Ogres. That's it for the requirements, now onto the items. You're going to need several coins, um, some dragon bones, uh, bat bones or ground bat bones, uh, either which will do, uh, a vial of water, two ropes, uh, a clean guam herb, a uh, gold bar, light sauce, janga berry and a death rune. The last three can be obtained during the quest but just to make it easier it would probably be worthwhile just bringing them along with you uh, out of the way just to save you uh, accidentally forgetting to collect them during the quest. And like I said, the only enemy you've got to defeat is a level 53 ogre called Gorad. Um, so that's it for the requirements and items. Now onto the quest starting point. So we're currently at the Neil Lodestone, which we access via the Lodestone network. Um, now if you don't have full access to the Lodestone network unlocked, um, I have a guide in the description below and it's well worth having full access, especially with this one. The Yanil Lodestone will come uh, very much in handy as you'll be going to and from Yanil about five times during this quest. So I definitely recommend at least having that activated. Um, but from here we're going to head to the start point, um, which is at the Yanil Watchtower, which is literally just behind the back of Yanil. Um, so what you need to do is go into the main city of Yanil uh, and go near the northern wall and you should notice an agility shortcut. Um, you want to go through that and then you're right next to where the watchtower is. However, you can't climb up the ladder um, as there's guards um, keeping outsiders from entering. Um, so what you must do is use the nearby trellis on the northern side of the building to climb up and access the top floor. And then once you're at the top, you want to speak to the watchtower wizard to start the quest. So, speaking to the wizard, he'll tell you that the watchtower cannot currently protect the city from the aggressive ogres as the power crystals that holds the uh, power to all of the creatures have been stolen and you want to offer to help and he'll suggest to investigate the area looking uh, for clues. So what we need to do is go back outside the watchtower and you'll notice there's quite a lot of bushes around the area and basically you're going to need to keep searching all of them until you find some fingernails. Uh, you will find some other items that you may think are uh, have use for you but it's only the fingernails we actually need. So literally just keep going and searching all the bushes until you obtain the fingernails and then you can just drop all the other items you find. Um, I believe the bush is different for each person so uh, just bear that in mind. Once you find the fingernails, you want to take it back up to the wizard you spoke to to start the quest and examining the nails, he will decide they are from a race of humanoids known as Scavids who live in dark caves and serve the ogres and the wizard asks you to retrieve power crystals from the Scavids and mentions that you should first obtain a map of their caves. During the conversation you must ask him whether you should search the caves and how to proceed to do so otherwise it will be as if you never uh, talk to him at all and you won't be able to proceed with the next bit so just make sure you have asked him that. So we need to enter the Ogre City to obtain a map for the Scabbard Caves and to enter we need to help three Ogres, Og, Gru and Toban in exchange for portions of an Ogre Relic which will um, be used to get past the Gate Guards. So we want to exit Yanil from the west gate and head northwest to find a tribe of ogres and you want to talk to one of them called Og to learn that his nemesis Toban has stolen a bar of gold from him and you, if you agree to help Og gives you a key to Toban's chest. Now before we head to Toban we're going to stop by at Groove's Island which is just a little bit uh, south of where you are now and this is what you need your rope for which is destroyed on use. Um, so south of the tribe you'll see the island and you'll see a long branch tree on the west side of the lake. Use a rope on the long branch and you'll be uh, create a rope swing. You can then uh, jump across and talk to Gru who will tell you to teach his enemy Gorad a lesson by knocking one of his teeth out. While you're here, it might be worth taking some Jenga berries, regardless if you've got some or not, just in case you accidentally eat them uh, during the quest when you get to the point where you have to use them. So, Toban's Island is between Yanil and Feldip Hills, but the only way to reach it is via the tunnel southwest of Gutenhof, which is quite a far distance uh, from where we are. We're basically going all the way around the back of the Ogre City to access a cave. So, um, if you watch where I go, you, uh, I'll soon indicate which the tunnel is. 
once you reach the tunnel entrance you want to go through it and you'll eventually reach the island um, once you're there unlock the chest and take the gold and on the island you can also find a level 53 chieftain named Gorad tell him that you've come to knock out his teeth and when he attacks you kill him to get a tooth as proof for Gru and then finally you want to speak to Toban who agrees to barter the third piece of the relic with some dragon bones um, so with the dragon bones in your inventory, give them to Toban, he'll give you a third piece of the relic. Um, before leaving, you can grab a rope that spawns on the island in case you haven't got another rope to get back as a Gru. Um, and then once you've done that, uh, the easiest way to get back to the other two ogres is to teleport to Yanil using the Yanil lodestone. Once you're back there, you want to go to Gru's island using the same method as before by using the rope on the tree to swing across. Uh, trade the tooth with Gru for the second piece of the relic as well as a power crystal. And then finally, you want to take the gold bar back to Og, who was the first Og we spoke to, for the first piece of the relic. Um, if you lose this crystal at any point, you can return and get a new one from Gru. So, once we have all three parts of the Ogre Relic, we need to take them back to the Watchtower Wizard to get them assembled. Um, so by now, Gru would have already given you the first crystal. Just keep it safely in your in your bank or inventory until you finish the quest. Um, it's up to you. You can keep it in your inventory. There's not much risk of you dying as long as you're being careful. It's just you don't want to end up losing all four crystals and having to reobtain them again. So once you've spoken to the wizard and got the full relic, uh, we need to go directly south of Yunil. Again, you can quickly teleport to the Yunil lodestone to speed up uh, going through the town. Um, and what we need to do is follow uh, the path um, directly south of us up a hill and then go along the west to uh, where the ogre guards are. And they're just near summoning obelisk, which is on the mini-map. Use the ogre relic on one of the guards to gain access to the city. Um, if you try to enter without uh, giving the guards the relic, they will hit you dealing some knife points damage and knocking you down the hill. Once you're inside, go a bit south and then east into the market which is the central area. Most of the ogres aren't aggressive but watch out for the ogre traders who attack you when you talk to them. Uh, there's also an ogre merchant there that sells you herbal supplies if you need it. What we want to do though is find a stall in the south market with food on it and steal uh, one or two rock cakes um, and extra in case you accidentally eat one. Once you have two rock cakes, go back on the main path and follow it south to find two more guards. They will ask for some food from the market before they let you cross the bridge. Um, so use your rock cake on them. Obviously right click on the left click options to eat it. Once you've given that to them, continue onwards until you find two more guards. Try to jump over the hole in the bridge and when you try, the guards will stop you. Um, if you pay them 20 coins to jump the hole, um, they will throw you across the other side of the platform. Once you're in the end of the path, you'll find several city guards, and if you talk to them, they'll give you a word puzzle, and the answer to the puzzle is death rune, and to solve the puzzle, you basically need to use your death rune in your inventory on one of the uh, city guards. Once you've given one of the guards a death rune, he'll give you a scattered map. So the Scavered Caves are a series of caves located beneath the Ogre City and you need the Scavered Map and a Light Source to get in. Um, the first cave we're going to go to is directly east of the market. Um, I think you have to sort of uh, go off at a different path to reach it, but again, just watch where I'm going, you'll soon see where to go. And um, Once you go in the cave, you'll find a scared Scavered. He will teach you the basics of the Scavered language and then ask you to go to all the rest of the caves and talk to each of the Scavids um, so you can understand their language further. So first the cave we're going to go to is directly north of the summoning obelisk. Uh, it might be worthwhile you teleport to the Yanil Lodestone because it's on the outer side of the city. Um, once you go into the first uh, scavenged cave it will say Sir Bidif and you must say Ig. Um, while you're in here pick up two cave nightshades as you're going to need these later on. Um, then obviously you have to wait for that to respawn I will mention as well so just wait for it to pop back up before you grab your second. Um, then head south east along the path until you reach the second cave and once you go in it will say Gorker and you must say R. Um, then we need to head to the third cave which is slightly east. Um, go inside and the scavenger will say Bidif Tanaf and you must say Ker and then head south to the last cave and when you go in it will say Tanaf Gor and you must say Nod. After you've spoken to all those scavengers, you need to go back to the first cave where we spoke with the scared scavenger um, back in the city east of the marketplace. I'll speak to you in a moment.
Once you've spoken to him, the Scavid will tell you that you're now ready to take on the Mad Scavid. Um, so go south of the entrance to the Scared Scavid uh, cave until you reach a gate. Um, make sure again to not talk to the guards and you want to use your gold bar on an ogre card and he will let you through. And then you want to follow that along to reach the final cave where the Mad Scavid is. So he will say one of these four things to you, it's different for each player, but I will tell you all the correct responses. So if he says Arkur, you must say Gore. If he says Bidif Ig, you must say Kerr. Uh, if he says Gore Nod, the correct response is Tanaf. And if he says Kerr Tanaf, the correct spot, uh, response is Bidif. Um, he will then give you the second power crystal and make sure to pick up another cave nightshade, uh, nightshade before you leave. So now we need to return to the Ogre Marketplace by following the path back round and going through the gate. Um, and then what you want to do, you'll notice there's a couple of guards uh, guarding the Ogre Enclave, which is a, a big entrance to the uh, inside cavern of the Ogre City. Uh, and what you want to do is use your Cave Nightshade on one of the guards to distract them um, so you can then enter. After entering the Enclave, you'll see a shortcut scene where an unfortunate dragon is killed by an Ogre Shaman. Um, once the cutscene's ended, you want to run past the monsters and exit the enclave from the opposite side of the entrance cave. Do not attack all the ogre shamans um, as this will cause you to lose a lot of health. Um, and once you've exited uh, the enclave you want to return to the watchtower and speak to the watchtower wizard again. So once you're back, talk to him who tells you that you must make a potion to destroy the shamans. The potion must be made in the correct order. Guam, Jango Berries and Ground Bat Bones or it will explode and you will take about 50 damage. But you only need one potion for this quest. Um, so you need uh, a vial of water with your pestle and mortar, obviously in your tool belt. Um, what you want to do is add clean Guam to your vial of water. Uh, you then want to add the one set of Jango Berries, obviously right click so you don't accidentally eat them. Um, um, and then you want to grind one set of bat bones with your pestle and mortar unless you already have the um, ground bat bones in your inventory. Again, make sure you're doing the right click option um, and then add those to the potion um, and then return that to the Watchtower Wizard to get it enchanted, turning it into a magic ogre potion. So what we need to do now is return to the Ogre Marketplace and go back into the Enclave where we saw the cutscene of the dragon getting killed a few minutes ago. So again, probably quickest way, teleport to your Neil Lodestone and head there and I'll speak to you in a moment. Once you're outside, use another Cave Nightshade on the guard and then uh, go back through the entrance and you'll be back in the cave where we saw the cutscene. Now what you need to do is use the potion on the six Ogre Shamans around the area to defeat them all. Um, so literally you've got to make sure you select the potion from your inventory and then use it on the actual Ogre Shaman. It'll basically destroy them and the Shamans do not respawn after being killed. So you'll find them all scattered around the main cave, so just keep travelling around until you get them all and it will tell you in the uh, um, chat box how many you've got left to defeat and killing the last one will give you a third uh, power crystal. And then finally to get the um, fourth power crystal you want to find the rock of Dalgroff on the Penicilla extending into the central lake uh, and you want to mine that rock to get the fourth crystal. Um, and now we have all four power crystals we need to return them to the watchtower wizard. Obviously if you had any in your bank for safekeeping go to the bank and retrieve the other ones as you need all four together at the end to finish the quest and then I'll speak to you in a few moments. So, once you arrive back at the Watchtower, speak to the wizard and he'll tell you to use the four power crystals on the pillars of the shield generator, place the purple one on the northeast pillar, the green one on the southeast pillar, the yellow one on the southwestern pillar, and the blue one on the northwestern pillar. And then finally, pull the lever at the west end of the room to fix the machine, and um, the wizards will then thank you and it will come up congratulations you've completed the Watchtower quest. You're awarded four quest points, 15,250 magic experience, 5,000 coins, a Spell Scroll which teaches you how to use the Watchtower Teleport Spell, access to Gutenhof and the Ogre Enclave, two Jashana Keys and two Hearts of Ice. 
So yeah, overall, not really a hard quest, a bit long, um, mostly from the bit with all the scattered caves having to navigate around, but overall it's not really that difficult, and actually the magic experience for this quest is pretty good as the reward, the four quest points, there's not many quests that offer you a high amount, so this helps bump it up um, if there's other quests you need a certain amount of uh, points for, um, and obviously the Watchtower Teleport um, spell is when you have the magic level and runes um, needed to cast it. Um, so obviously this one will directly teleport you straight into the watchtower. Um, but yeah, I don't think you'll run into any problems following this guide. However, if you do get stuck at all, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers guys, bye bye.